My name is Jafet Kilewo, Professor of Epidemiology. Welcome to this session on case control studies. You may have been familiar with uh, case control studies, also uh, other uh, epidemiological studies like cross-sectional studies, experimental studies, cohort studies, and if you have not been exposed to these kinds of methods, don't worry because we shall be dealing with these methods in other sections. This lecture will cover two sessions and we will uh, cover the definition and types of case control studies, design and conduct of case control studies, and then in the second session we shall cover analysis and interpretation of case control studies and also advantages and disadvantages of case control studies over other designs. In terms of definition of case control studies, we have several synonyms which have been used uh, to describe case control studies. We have case reference studies, case comparison studies, case history studies. All these have been used in the literature and you will find this um, commonly being used synony synonymously. What are case control studies? These are epidemiological investigations comparing the characteristics of diseased persons who we call cases with those of non-diseased persons we call controls. The comparison. In case control studies, we make comparisons. For example, we compare cases of a particular disease with controls. The comparison identifies factors which occur more or less frequently in the cases compared to the controls. What can case control studies do in research? They provide useful information about risk factors for diseases. They give us clues as to whether such factors elevate or reduce the risk of disease under investigation. And so they are useful in, initial, in the initial investigation of disease outbreaks. In this way, they are one of the most frequently used or undertaken types of epidemiologic study. How do we assemble the cases in a case control study. In putting cases together, we must ensure that cases represent a homogeneous disease entity by using standard diagnostic criteria. If we are studying ma malaria, for example, all cases in a case control study must have malaria and all controls must not have malaria. Sources of cases, where do we get cases from? Cases are selected from either hospitals or general population. Hospitals may be represented by health facilities of various sizes. These are very convenient sources of cases because all kinds of patients are admitted there and are easy to recruit. In the general population, this source requires a survey or surveillance in order to get cases from the general population but this can be a bit costly. Hospital source for cases. The hospital source is good for identifying diseased individuals in specified periods of time using hospital records. You can use hospital records to get the cases of a particular case control study. There may be a selection bias though uh, due to the different admission policies of different hospitals some hospitals may admit only seriously ill patients and therefore that can cause a bias. General population source for cases, once identified, all or a random sample of the diseased individuals from the general population are selected. This source avoids selection bias due to selective facility use by cases, meaning that certain types of patients may choose to visit certain facilities only and that can create a bias. Why do we use controls in case control studies? Controls are essential to evaluate the role of exposure in disease causation. For example, in a study without controls, 90% of cases of diarrhea report to have eaten or are exposed to rotten fish. Is this enough evidence for incriminating fish in this outbreak? 
no, this is not enough evidence because it can happen that also 90% of the non cases also ate the rotten fish. We cannot incriminate fish in this kind of exam. So controls are essential for us to be able to evaluate the role of exposure in disease causation. How do we choose controls for our case control studies? Controls are chosen to be compared to the cases in terms of exposure. To be a good control, controls must represent the general population in the frequency of exposure. For example, if 30% of the general population is exposed to a certain factor, for example smoking, the frequency of smoking among the controls in a case control study should be about the same, that is 30%. If it is not near 30%, it means your control group is not a good one. It doesn't represent the general population in the frequency of exposure. How do we choose controls? In choosing controls, one should consider the source and the characteristics of the cases. Controls should be as similar as possible to the cases, except for the disease of interest. You should also consider the practical and economic factors when dealing with case control studies. For example, looking for controls should be easy and inexpensive. Otherwise, you don't have to be going very far to choose controls.